We're on a Howard 500, it's serial number 105, which uh, I believe is the fifth one to be done. Uh, they made 17 of these airplanes. It started out in life as a fighter bomber bought by the British and went to the South African Air Force until they finished with it in the late 50s and then uh, D. Howard bought all those airplanes with the intent of making it into an executive airplane, which he had been doing for years, converting other models of Lockheed bombers into executive airplanes. This one different because it was intended to be converted in such a way that it could be pressurized. They changed the outer wing panels to a supercritical wing panel. Instead of the uh, 1820 engines on it, they put R2800 twin row engines on it, which are Douglas DC-6 engines. Unfortunately for the airplane, at the same time Grumman was coming out with their first turboprop business airplane, the Grumman G1, which, uh, you know, most of the bigger corporations went into that. It's sort of the end of the era for these big piston airplanes. All flaps, cooler doors. Okay, I'm open, open from the left side. Open, open. Emergency gear bypass. Okay, that's your star valve down there. Yep. Let's check that for close. It's a little different starting one of these. You're starting it with a mixture at cutoff, and you're actually starting it using the priming system, which unlike most engines, it doesn't prime in the cylinders. The carburetor on this is a big four-barrel holly that's sitting on top of it, and you're actually priming squirting gas in the carburetor inlet. It's a pressure carburetor. That goes right out of that into the inlet of the supercharger and then on to all cylinders so that when you are priming it, you're priming all cylinders. And then when it's happy, you're holding the prime on and squirting that gas in there, and then you bring the mixture up to a rich position and it'll start gagging because it's got prime and the carburetor feeding it now, and then you let up on the prime and it catches on the carburetor. That's the way you start it. Two pilot airplane, it's busy, it's a very complicated airplane system wise. So the co pilot is half flight engineer or more ha than half flight engineer and half co pilot. If he or she is doing the job right, servicing the captain and taking care of all the systems and air conditioning and fuel and watching the engines and you know making sure that everything is as it should be, he or she is pretty busy. You just can't push throttles all the way to the stop on these big supercharged radials. You have limitations. You have to know all of that stuff. You can't just drop somebody in the seat and say, let's go. Okay, engine run up. Checklist is complete. It's now before takeoff. Before takeoff, please. Flight controls. The elevators. Rudders. Ailerons. Check. There's two of them left flying, this one and Tony's other one. That's it, that's all that are left out of all those airplanes. So it's, it's a pretty big privilege to be able to just cruise around in it. It's a tremendous airplane. Someday it'll be over and you'll have a, some really tremendous memories to look back on. Mm -hmm.